lovelies, I hope you're all well. I'm really excited about bringing you this video today because it is a day in the life but with a bit of a mental health twist and that is because you may or may not know that Channel Mum have been doing a maternal mental health campaign and raising awareness and bringing lots of tips to us mums who struggle with our mental health how to manage it. So if you want to go over to their website and have a look, there are so many amazing resources over there. So I decided to do a little day in the life on the ways that I like to be kind to myself when I'm feeling particularly anxious or low. Now I'm aware that everyone is completely different. Some people might want a duvet day. Some people might just need to get out and need to be around people who encourage them. And that is fine. It's about learning your triggers for mental health and learning how to quickly be kind to yourself and um, help yourself get back into a good frame of mind. And there are a few things for me. I know that my faith and that being organised and also just resting um, really helped me. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. So as you can see, the boys are up, they're watching cartoons, they'd already had their breakfast. So this was my time to have my breakfast and chill. And I love to do that by reading my Bible and having a cup of coffee. And sometimes I like to pray. I've got a list of things or people that um, I would like to pray for or things that I'm just praying about at the moment to help focus me. And then I have this book that I write truths in or affirmations, especially when I'm feeling low or anxious. This just helps remind me of truths that need remembering. And I'm just getting the boys dressed and ready for the day. I sometimes keep the TV on while I'm getting them dressed because it just makes it so much easier and they're not trying to run away. Here I'm just explaining to Saxon that when the hand reaches the nine, mummy will be ready and I will come back downstairs and the TV will be turned off. So I come upstairs and make my bed and I put on some music that I know is going to encourage me and lift me up. And for me it's Christian music and I am really loving a song called Reckless Love at the moment by Bethel. So I'm just putting on my makeup here, which I spend between five and 10 minutes most days doing my makeup, if that, some I don't do my makeup at all. And I am just brushing my hair through. Sometimes when I'm feeling anxious, I want to look really nice and other times I just want to feel comfy and slouchy. And today was a comfy slouchy day. So I'm just picking out some jeans and I just wore a tank top and a jumper. The boys came and were just bashing into me and being silly. But this is the outfit I chose. Like I said, I just wanted to be comfy. And me and the boys went downstairs after that and we did a puzzle really quickly. It's an alphabet wooden puzzle and they really enjoyed doing that. They're saying chocolate. <laughs> um, just having a final drink before we get ready to head out. I've got a little bit of laundry to hang out, so I'm just gonna do that. John's lovely boxes and my granny pants, lovely. And off we go to preschool. I've started putting their bags and coats on the stairs to encourage them to sit down and let me put on their shoes and um, coats. And they each have their little backpack with fruit that I organized this morning. Um, and they've got some pineapple there. I was just trying to encourage Ezra to eat it during preschool. And then we are off to preschool. Right, and I didn't film outside, so I'm back home. And first thing, I'm tidying up. I do think it really helps to get organized when you're feeling low or anxious because it just makes you feel better about yourself when you've got stuff done. So I carry on doing all the jobs I need to do. I've sorted out the kitchen and I'm just moving on to the lounge a little bit and putting away their puzzle and um, loads of little alphabet letters. And just, yeah, generally making it a nice place for me to hang out and spend my morning um, because it's really important to surround yourself by things you love in the place you love and 
yeah, get cozy. So I'm just having a hoover so I don't have to worry about spreading crumbs everywhere because, you know, kids. And I thought I would just take this time to do a little bit of editing for a video. And I hardly ever get any time to do this because we use our Mac as our TV and everything. So I'm taking this time to do that. So I'm trying to keep an eye on the clock, but also aware that I do need to have some downtime and be kind to myself. As I said, it's all about balance and learning what works for you. I need to feel organized, but also well rested. So I'm chilling with a packet of smoky bacon crisps because they are my favorite at the moment. And I watched something that would just make me laugh so much so that I can feel really well rested and um, relieved and just all the happy feelings. And I then caught up with a friend, we texted for a while, just catching up on how we were doing. And actually, in the end, I decided to ring her because, because it's so much easier to just properly catch up and encourage each other on the phone than in text. And then I had a cheeky Diet Coke before I left for the preschool pickup. And I had a really relaxing time, so I was really looking forward to seeing them. So both boys are home. Um, I just take their coat and shoes off at the gate before letting them into the lounge. And it's time for lunch. The boys are just having sandwiches and some teddy faces. And they did have fruit afterwards, don't you worry. And then I just have my quiche and salad and avocado. Um, and I like to try and sit with them during meal times, even though it means I eat my lunch super early. But it does help them to actually eat. And sometimes they eat off my plate as well, which I don't mind. And then we were just snuggling on the sofa for a little while. Ezra was having a runabout. Then he came to join us. And yeah, just, you know, having cuddles because I miss them. I miss my babies when they're away. Of course I do. But um, yeah, just making the most of them. And then we decided to watch a movie together. I put on a movie, we had an ice cream. And after that, I got up and decided to get some more jobs done. I drank loads of water because I realised I'd hardly drunk any that day <laughs> and dribbled it everywhere. Then I got on with clearing up the kitchen and when I do this I love to watch YouTube. Here I'm watching Sarah from This Mama Life and I am cooking dinner as well. Tonight we're having corn bolognese and I did a little bit more cleaning in the kitchen and um, started the cooking. I could tell the boys were not gonna watch that movie any longer so I read them a story instead and we actually needed to get out to just grab some bits from the shop so I put on their shoes and we went for a walk but I didn't take my camera. When we got home I cooked the bolognese um, through and some spaghetti with it and we all had it that's my big plate in the middle there and then we went upstairs i put on my pajamas because i just wanted to feel all cozy the boys had a bath together and um we started the crazy hour getting ready for bed and um oh it's just just it's such a cute face at the moment and so we read a story on Saxon's bed all in our pajamas and um, I was solo parenting this evening as John's been working really late so I think it's nice for them that I'm in my pajamas too and yeah just watching the sun go down and I came down to um, tidy up a bit and start my evening of rest I like to turn the lamps on and light some candles because we're getting that autumnal feel now and it's just really nice to do whatever makes you feel cosy. 
and then I put on some TV and I was really happy because I got to watch what I wanted for once and um, yeah, I watched Gogglebox, my sister-in-law's really got me into that. <laughs> So that is what we chose to do with our lazy afternoon. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video has helped you and I'll see you in the next one.